We love a bit of drama, a bit of tea. I'm literally like so irritated today. Um, basically, I've got an orthodontist appointment and I was very, very ready for it. And now I'm friggin' not. So basically, the appointment is at 10 past 10. It is currently half nine. I left at nine. Like I had so much time to get there and like be early and stuff. And then I went to go get petrol, which normally takes just 10 minutes done bish bash bosh you know and then i got to the petrol station and they were like refueling the tanks i think so half of the pumps were like off and then it was very very busy and i pulled into a bay and i then realized that the person that had been in it before and it had worked fine when i went in it it was not working fine it was turned off so that was interesting um so then I had to wait for the person behind me to like finish fueling up. Then I had to let them out and then reverse back into their bay. But they did a 70 pound petrol like run. I do like a 20 pound at a time because I'm broke. And yeah, it was not nice. And then someone, I was like about to pull out and she squeezed through the gap, like the diagonal gap. Um, yeah and then went like in front of me and I was like saying to her like it's not working like don't use it and then I think she thought I was angry at her because she like pulled out the whole petrol station and went back like to the back of the line and I was like oh no so she probably thought I was like having a go at her but I was just like it's not working like get back in the queue because like otherwise you'll lose your spot but I don't think she got that so yeah that was great um so she went to the back of the queue but it literally took me like 25 minutes to get petrol and i was like first in the queue there was there was pretty much no queue when i arrived but then i managed to be in the queue because i parked in a bay i followed the crowd you know she got her petrol so i was like oh that bay must be working so then i pull into it and it says server stopped and i was like what so that's nice because it stopped as soon as I got in it but it was working fine when she was using it but you know life goes on um I'm on my way to the orthodontist I feel like I might do a little like leading up to the holiday days um of just things I'm doing so I'll probably add this in because we love a bit of drama a bit of tea so I will see you whenever I see you Bye bye hello guys so I am having quite a good day. It started off very badly, um, but now it is looking good. So, basically I just went to the orthodontist and that turned out really well. So basically my teeth are looking great and I think they look great. Um, hope you like them too. <laughs> Um, so my orthodontist said that he just wants me to wear the retainers at night now for four weeks and then when that is up I will be coming back for an appointment on the 16th of July which is literally the day I get back from America so that is going to be painful um, and then I will have all my attachments taken off so if you don't know Invisalign they put little attachments like little clips on your teeth and then when you put the retainer on those clips clip in to the retainer so I have these little they're kind of hard I don't know what they're made out of but they aren't the softest of things so it means that if you like scratch your lip on them or something then it can hurt a little bit so it will be nice to have those taken off and I literally can't wait to just not have retainers anymore. I am looking forward to it. Um, a little update. So after my petrol issue, um, I then had a slight issue on the way to Harpenden. So there was traffic and roadworks on the A41 going to Hemel. Hemel? Yeah, 
Hemel. Um, and that meant that there was only one lane, which made it very, very slow moving. So there was that. And then when I got to Hemel, there was a little bit of roadworks. And then when I got to Redbourne, there was roadworks. So literally, there was roadworks friggin' everywhere. And I don't know why, but they're all doing it today and I had to get caught in it. It's literally like every time I try and be on time for the orthodontist, something makes me late. Like I literally left an hour and a half early and I was getting petrol, but like, mainly because I wanted to be early. And then I still managed to be 10, 15 minutes late. It's just like, I don't friggin' know. Um, yeah, so that was annoying. I am gonna do a little car mukbang when I get home. I went to this cafe, I wanted a nice coffee from M&F, and it just so happens that the M&S in Harpenden doesn't stock the almond, no, soya, um, ice latte, which is super nice. Soy ice latte is my fave. Um, I don't like making soy ice lattes when I'm at home. I prefer to use almond milk, but when I go to M&S, that is my go-to because it is so good. So I usually get that. They did not have it. So I went to this juice bar, which was quite overpriced, but obviously everything is freshly juiced, so I was okay with it. And I got this green smoothie looks like that I'll show you it when I get home and I will eat it when I get home and I also got veggie sushi I asked her I was like it says veggie is that vegan and she was like yes it's one of our vegan sushis so I got that because I haven't had sushi in a while and I thought that I would try it I'm gonna have it alongside my avocado toast because we all know that I, I mean you may not know but my whole Instagram knows that I have avocado toast every single day, every day. I love it so much. So that's what we're going to be having. We will do a little mukbang and I will see you when I got home. I've got no more updates, I don't think. But yeah, so it was a stressful morning, but now it is a good morning because, you know, getting the retainers off. I go on holiday next week and I'm very excited. This is going to be an extra video, um, it will be Sunday probably when I upload this, so I hope you enjoy, it's just going to be like a daily vlog leading up to my holiday, you know, my life. Um, yeah, I haven't actually got the sat nav on at the moment, so I need that because I don't know where I'm going, even though I have literally been to and done about 200 times for the orthodontist, but I still don't know how to get there, so I literally have to put my sat nav on every single time. I remember the roads, but not in order. So like, I'll get on a road and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going right at the roundabout. And then I'll get to the roundabout and I'm like, no, this isn't the one. This is a different one. So then I have to go straight and yeah, it's, it's painful. So I always like to use a sat nav because I am a wuss and I don't like risking it for the biscuit, you know? Um, this is literally the first day I've worn makeup in like a week because I've been going to spin classes and getting super sweaty if you haven't seen my workout vlog then go and check it out it was very fun to film because you know who doesn't love a sweaty gal oh road works no not the one so i am gonna go now because i need the sat nav and it's friggin hot in here so i need to crack a window open but i will see you when i'm home for a little mukbang and yeah Hope you enjoyed so far. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Love ya. Right, so I just got home and I'm just about to eat my stuff. So this is what I got. It's a veggie sushi. I don't know what is actually in here because it doesn't say. Um, it looks like cucumber and maybe like mango. And I think there's a tiny bit of avocado on the side. So there's this one. And then there's this one. So I think it's cucumber and mango. And then there's this little piece of avocado. And then there's a bit of onion on the other side, but the onion doesn't look as nice, so I'm not going to have that. And then I got this lean green raw cold pressed juice. This is what it looks like. Um, it looks good for you, so that's why I got it. Um, and it's got ginger, lemon, romaine 
cucumber, kale, spinach, celery in it. Um, it's press nutrition. It's one of your five a day. One of your five a day. More like five. Um, and it's vegan, so that's good. So I'm going to try one of these. Mmm, that's really good with the mango. The mango is really, really good. They're both really, really good. Yeah, I like those a lot. I'm not going to rush to eat them because I want to enjoy them. But I'll taste this so that you can get a review. That is very, um, you know, like when you get a smoothie and they've obviously put loads of sugar in it. So it tastes amazing, but it's probably not that great. I now get why people don't do juice cleansers because this is kind of painful. I should have gone for one that was like more sweet. I picked everything green. So like the kale and spinach is the main, like they put a tiny bit of lemon in there, but you can't taste it at all. Um, so I will finish that. That will, this will be my lunch probably. And then I'll have something else later. So I'm going to enjoy this because I don't want to like eat it in front of the camera and rush. And I'm going to have my like soy sauce and stuff. But yeah, so this is a fully vegan one. It's called the juice the place um and it's in harpenden which is like saint albans like high wickham area not high wickham um like hemel so yeah it's like 45 minutes from me but i go there for the orthodontist so i don't really have a choice but yeah i was searching for iced coffee and i couldn't find it so i resulted to this but yes it's very tasty the juice isn't great but like what can you expect it's basically a juice cleanse like kind of juice because it's proper nutritious but not that nice so yeah i hope you enjoyed please give this a like and a sub if you haven't already um i'm just looking at how many more of these i have i have 10 more of these so i'm very excited it doesn't have any like calorie information which is kind of annoying because i'm like logging all my stuff on my fitness pal because i'm being healthy so that's not great but we'll just look on there and assume that it was really really healthy and not bad for me so yeah hey guys so just a little update i am still at this table hours later um it's now six o'clock i am currently having my avocado toast that's what it looks like so so good i put seeds on the top i sometimes put like beetroot radish like loads of stuff on the top but today i thought i'd go simple so i just did my sister-in-law's nails because if you don't know i do sns nails and I have my little kit here. So, um, yeah, but I've been doing those for the past like hour and then I had to go out to get some new colors. I might actually do like a little SNS nail tour. Um, so if you wanna see what stuff I use and I can like show you how I do it and stuff, then let me know and um, I'll do a video on it. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this vlog. It is now the evening, so it is the end of this day that I was doing sort of like a day in the life of and like road rage rant. Um, just also, um, the drink that I had earlier, I'm pretty sure it's like the drink that you would have for a juice cleanse. So this sparked the idea that I might do a two day juice cleanse and film it before I go to America. So next Saturday and Sunday, the 29th and the 30th, I might do a juice cleanse. We will see. This juice place that I went to is in Harpenden, and like that's kind of far to drive just for some juice. So I'm really annoyed that I didn't buy more juices um, because I could have got so many today because they had so many in there. But I'm going to see if I can get them online and then maybe I will do a juice cleanse. Let me know if you think I should.